Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're discussing Rosemount's 5408 non-contacting radar level transmitters. Specifically, we're discussing frequency and its impact on the reliability of the measurement. When we look at non-contacting radars in general, we can group them into three separate categories, low frequency, mid frequency, and high frequency. Since the 5408 operates at a 26 gigahertz frequency, it falls into this mid category. But let's take a step back. What is frequency? Well, as the word would suggest, it's how often something occurs in a finite period. As it pertains to non-contacting radars, we're discussing the microwave signal itself and how fast it oscillates. And so as you can see by the image here, on the right, we have a high frequency radar. And you can see as pictured by the diagram there that the oscillations are very frequent, therefore higher frequency. And the opposite would be true for a low frequency radar. Now that's all fine and dandy, but how does that translate into the reliability of the level measurement? Well, it's been proven that low frequency radar level transmitters handle signal attenuation better. So that means everything from turbulence to condensation to vapors. Why is that? Well, think of the analogy of your neighbors playing music, right? You live in an apartment building or a townhouse or whatever, and they're blasting music. What do you hear coming through the walls? It's the low frequency bass that comes through the walls. It's the same principles that apply to sound, apply to your microwave signal in your radar level transmitter. So the question is, why not just use a low frequency in every single application? Well, anything in physics comes with a trade-off. The lower the frequency, the wider the beam width. And in some of your level transmitter applications, this may pose a problem. A wider beam width may see various things in the vessel that it shouldn't and cause further signal attenuation. This is why with Rosemount's 5408, we've chosen a mid frequency as it is a perfect balance between the benefits of a low frequency radar and the benefits of a high frequency radar. If you have any questions about Rosemount's 5408 or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.